Remarkably, he has 20 league goals in 12 consecutive seasons. With three games to go, would you back against him? Well, it's going to be difficult, obviously, but again, we saw it. Did the finish tonight, even the goal last week against Arsenal. Outstanding is the hardest part of the game. I know people are quick to criticise what he doesn't do in terms of his pressing, but he was never great at that anyway. He's the greatest at what is the hardest part of the game, is putting the ball in the back of net. He didn't. Was that his only chance tonight, really? Mm. You see the chances that Chelsea were creating. Imagine if he was in the Chelsea team. He'd probably get 50 goals. He's, he's in a poor Man United team. We aren't creating many chances for him. And he's, just, he's producing. Even the pass tonight, listen, it was the touch. It was his movement, and as I said, as soon as he gets it, you just turn away, you just know it's a goal. That's how good he is. Well, remember, the suggestion originally was that Manchester City wanted him, and Manchester United came in very late to take the deal. Well, but, but that can happen sometimes in transfers. Sometimes deals are obviously late, late in the making. But in terms of teams that create chances for you, what would you yeah, think of course, his impact would have been at Manchester no, City? Well, I, Man City are doing OK without him. <laughs> you know, they, they've recovered. I think that, that that's fine. You've got to get the right personalities in your team. But I think what he's done at United, considering the season they've had, and I know there's other bits he could have done better. I think his leadership could have been certainly better when they've been up against it. But in terms of, obviously, goals, and that's what he came here back for. You know what? Big personality. He, he's not one of these players like a few years ago where he's beating people. He, he is really dependent on people getting the balls in the right areas. And United have been great at that this year, but he's still produced the goods. What do you think next year? What do you think Ten Hag will look to do with him? Well, if, obviously, Dan would, would have been watching the games and he'd be having a sleepless night watching the team. But I just think if you've got a player in your group who can score that amount of goals, they have to be involved. Now, Ronaldo will want to play a week in, week out. That'll be the problem when the new manager comes in, where he'll be looking for another striker. But Ronaldo won't be hanging on unless he's playing week in, week out. I think he, I think he won't mind being rested for the other League Cup game or a European game if they've already been through. But we saw his disappointment going back a few months when it was Chelsea and it was a City and... And then injuries were popping up, you know what I mean? But I think he wants to play a week in, week out, and that'll be the problem for the manager, because he'll probably look at him and go, no, you're... I probably have to rotate you in certain games. We talked about this style before the game, Roy, and, we, and we, we, we're trying to work out exactly what we'll get from Eric Ten Hag, but it seems like the evidence is there that he wants a team that's going to win the ball at the top of the pitch. Now, if that's the case, is Ronaldo going to be the man for him? Well, that, well that's one of the biggest decisions the manager will have to make, because, of course, he'll have to look at the bigger picture. He'll have to look, how can United get back to compete with the, the top teams? Um, they struggled against Chelsea tonight, never mind about Liverpool and Man City, that was against Chelsea. So that's the manager's biggest challenge, working with these big personalities, as brilliant as they are, he still has to get a team that can compete. And if that is high pressing and win the ball back, Ronaldo is not good at that. But I still think you can have Ronaldo on your team and have other players who can do that. You can have the, the legwork. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I, yeah. We played now, Canton and all these players weren't nowhere near us. And even Van Nistelrooy wouldn't be great at chasing the ball back for you. They wouldn't be, and that's fine. But we dealt with, we got, we've enough lads in the team that mm. can win the ball back. Now, people go, no, you need all your players. And they look at Liverpool and Man City, but you, you can get away with it. Maybe one player not being brilliant getting back. But as long as you're producing the goods, you forgive them. We had it with Cantona, for example, and, and Cantona wasn't getting 20, 30 goals, but he'd get important goals. But we'd forgive Eric for maybe not running back, and even Rude. Rude wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily have been the greatest team player, but you know if we create enough chances for him, these boys would put the ball in the back of the net. And that's still the hardest part of the game. Getting the ball back and closing people down is easy. Easiest part of football. The hardest part is when you do win it back, what you do with it. 